What's up guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to add your Roblox character to Roblox Studio. This should be quite an easy tutorial, for more information click on the first link in the description below. Open up your experience within Roblox Studio. Here you will have to make use of a plugin to quickly import your Roblox character model. To do so, Make sure that your toolbox window is open. If this is not the case, then select View in the top navigation and toggle the toolbox window. When this is done, make sure to sort these by plugins. Search for Load Character in this dialog box. You will then be presented with some plugins in this list below. Click on the free Load Character plugin and select to install it, which should only take a few seconds to complete. When this is done, navigate to the Plugins tab in your top navigation and select the Load Character plugin. A new window will open up. Replace the Already Pro text with your username and you will then be able to see your Roblox character on this window. Don't check the Spawn at origin checkbox and below spawn the R6 or R15 character model, depending on which one you are using. Finally, your Roblox character will be placed in your Roblox experience. You can then proceed to animate the model or change the scale, rotation and other parts of your character within Roblox Studio. You also have the option to export your model as a 3D object to alter it in other applications such as Blender. To do so, make sure that your Explorer window is visible. You can toggle it under the View tab. Select your character model to highlight it in your Explorer and then right click the part. Lastly, click on Export Selection. In your File Explorer, name the object and select a save location. Finally, this will export the 3D object file, the MTL file and some textures, in case there are any on the model. Import the file to Photoshop, Blender or simply open it up with your Windows 3D Viewer application to quickly preview your Roblox character model. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.